Right now, live at 5, in the coming weeks, two coronavirus vaccines will go before the FDA for emergency use review. What you need to know. Plus, some local assisted living facilities added a powerful disinfecting tool to help keep their residents healthy. And listen up, Minnesota homeowners. There's millions of dollars in COVID relief money sitting unused. How you can access it. And later, a generous donation to the Duluth Salvation Army is sure to put some big smiles on the faces of kids in need. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here is a beautiful look over the city of Duluth on this Friday evening. We're hearing the latest from Minnesota lawmakers on the state's progress against COVID-19, plus how some facilities are using technology to stop the spread. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us tonight. A deadly COVID-19 outbreak has ripped through a Superior Assisted Living Facility. According to the Chief Operating Officer at the Superior Rehabilitation Center, 88 residents have tested positive in the last month. 14 of them died of coronavirus-related complications. 61 have recovered. According to the Wisconsin Department of Health, COVID-19 has helped claim the lives of more than 300 assisted living residents in the state in the last month. COVID cases in Minnesota's long-term care facilities have skyrocketed recently as well. State health officials report they have increased by 400% in the last two months. The state has about 220 COVID cases per 1,000 long-term care residents, ranking 31st in the nation. Minnesota ranks 27th in deaths per 1,000 residents, sitting at 51. Officials say that's because community spread is impacting those who care for residents of congregate living areas. The state's health commissioner says as we draw closer to a vaccine rollout to hang tight and take the necessary steps to protect fellow Minnesotans. But this is the time to dig deep, to do everything we can, as the governor has said so often, to get as many of our fellow Minnesotans as we can over that bridge to that time when vaccines can help us stamp this virus out and return us to normal. But there's a lot we must do in the meantime. 65% of Minnesota's COVID-19 deaths have occurred in long-term care facilities. Since April, the state has had a five-point plan in place to help these facilities, which includes increased testing, PPE, ensuring adequate staffing, and more. Several local assisted living facilities are investing in new technology to keep their residents safe amid the pandemic. CBS 3's Alex Libby shows why this advanced air filtration process could save lives. Assisted living facilities like Keystone Bluffs here in Duluth have installed something called cold plasma generators. The generators produce an electric field filled with highly charged ions. The ions can kill nearly 95% of the microorganisms in the air. They can also keep tables and other high-touch surfaces clean of dust and bacteria. Dana Cheetah, Keystone Bluffs administrator, says the $31,000 investment will give peace of mind to everyone who enters the building. I, I know it's worth the investment. Anything that we can do to uh, increase the quality of air in our buildings for the quality of life for our residents, that's worth every penny. He says even when the pandemic isn't around, the air filtration will be a great way to keep people safe from seasonal sicknesses and allergies. Keystone Bluffs isn't the only assisted care facility that has installed cold plasma generators. Diamond Willow and other ones down in the Twin Cities have made the investment as well. Thanks, Alex. Keystone Bluffs was unable to share exact numbers of cases in their facility, but say they have seen lower numbers in the last three weeks with the new system in place. Meanwhile, Minnesota has nearly $100 million in funding to help COVID-impacted residents pay their bills. But only a fraction of those funds have been used, and the deadline to apply is quickly approaching. In July, Governor Tim Walz announced a $100 million housing assistance program, but only $67 million has been used so far. The program aims to help Minnesota residents make rent, mortgage, and utility payments. It's uncertain whether funds will be available again in the future, so Duluth residents are encouraged to use these resources before they're gone. It's just critical um, within uh, the city of Duluth to be utilizing every possible resource we have available to us to address COVID-related impacts. And, and we know people are facing housing instability due to job loss or due to other challenges. You have until the end of the day on Monday, December 7th to apply for help. 
For information on how to fill out the application, you can head to our website, cbs3duluth.com. The battle for control of the Senate is heating up. Today, Vice President Mike Pence and former President Obama both held rallies for their respective candidates in Georgia's two Senate runoff elections. This as President-elect Biden keeps his focus on the economy. Skylar Henry reports from Wilmington, Delaware. President-elect Joe Biden is calling the latest jobs report evidence of the worst economic and jobs crisis in modern U.S. history. Millions of people have lost their jobs or had their hours slashed. They've lost their health insurance or are in danger of losing their health insurance. He called on Congress to pass an emergency spending bill as soon as possible. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi have resumed negotiations for economic relief. We have to do it in a way that recognizes people need food on the table. They need to get their rent paid. They need money in their pockets. They need their unemployment insurance. Economists worry the recent surge in COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations and deaths will make December's jobs report even worse. President-elect Joe Biden has announced that he's asked Dr. Anthony Fauci to be his chief medical advisor and remain on the coronavirus task force. With control of the Senate in the balance, Vice President Mike Pence traveled to Georgia. He plans to rally with Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, who are hoping to keep their jobs in next month's runoff election. President Trump plans to headline another rally in Valdosta, Georgia, tomorrow night. And Georgia's governor is calling on the Secretary of State's office to conduct a signature audit of ballots following allegations of election fraud. Results from the state's second recount found President-elect Biden had 900 fewer votes than the first recount, but that he still beat President Trump by about 12,000 votes. Mr. Biden told CNN he'll call on all Americans to wear a mask during his first 100 days in office. Let's check in with Dave now for a first look at the weather. Dave, uh, not too bad out there this morning. No, I made it bad. out for a walk today. On day 101, maybe we'll finally get some snow yeah. around here. It's been dry for a while and still looks like it will be for at least the next seven days. But like you mentioned this morning, you and Louie, the little doggy, Got to go out and not freeze his little paws off because our cold snap is over and now a milder spell has come around even for the morning lows. So we had teens in parts of northern Minnesota, but 20s for a lot of the rest of the region and even upper 20s over towards Waters Meet. And today we had a little mixture of sun here and there and cloud here and there as well because this is the pattern now we have set up with this big slew of highs in place. We're getting dry conditions, but those highs are pushing up little troughs of lower pressure in between, which makes the clouds. And so we split the difference for the weekend. We're eyeing up a partly sunny sky, high temps in the lower 30s, and frankly, no hint of snow for the next week. But I'll show you the seven-day forecast anyway in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, honoring hometown heroes while supporting local businesses in Chisholm, plus a token of appreciation for returning National Guard soldiers in Spooner. City by City is up next. And coming up tonight at 6, visiting loved ones in the hospital or health care facilities has been hard to do lately. How two Duluth sisters have gotten creative in order to spend time with their mom. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Matt. And weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS3. Live Local CBS3. Medicare isn't everyone's favorite thing to shop for, but with UCARE, it might be worth a browse because right now, UCARE is offering a $0 premium plan statewide. And unlike original Medicare, you also get prescription drugs, doctor visits, dental, hearing, and glasses. Fire off any questions to a decomplicator today. Hey, it's what we're here for. You care. People powered health plans. Maurice's and the Greater Downtown Council, thank you for shopping local this holiday season. We love our local businesses, and there's something for everyone on your shopping list. Indigenous First Arts and Gift Shop showcases a wide variety of indigenous and diverse artists, authors, and farmers. Right now, we are offering special pricing on curated gifts, packages, and handbags by local artisans. We appreciate your continuous support. Shop online at indigenousfirst.org. Minnesota Power's mobile app puts the power at your fingertips and lets you take my account with you wherever you go. Pay your bill, make account changes, track your energy use, and get power outage information anytime, anywhere. Minnesota Power, we're moving energy forward. 
Give the perfect gift this holiday season, a getaway on Lake Superior. For the month of December, buy $150 in gift cards and receive a $25 bonus. With safety measures in place to make sure you and yours stay healthy, gift a getaway to the Inn on Lake Superior. On behalf of everyone at Maurice's and the Greater Downtown Council, we wish you the happiest of holidays. I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. Safety is our top priority, so our workers are following all CDC guidelines to ensure the safety of both our customers and employees. Get your dream bathroom for zero down, zero interest, and zero payments till 2022. All of our products are backed by the Good Housekeeping seal of approval and come with a lifetime warranty. For a free estimate, call us today or go online to book your appointment. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. Welcome back. You're taking a live look at Bentleyville. The Duluth holiday display has seen some long lines for this year's drive through experience. Now, organizers are warning that you will be turned away if the line of cars starts backing up onto the freeway. They're also asking people who live near Duluth to consider coming on a weekday versus the much busier weekends. Now, let's head out for a look at the rest of the region. Supporting community heroes in Chisholm, plus a token of love and appreciation for Guard members in Spooner. That and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. Starting things off in my hometown of Chisholm, where residents are being invited to help support local businesses while highlighting heroes in their community. The Chisholm Fire Department has purchased 20 chamber cash certificates, and they're asking community members to nominate recipients. The certificates are worth $25 and are valid at chamber businesses in Chisholm. If you know of someone you consider a hero, you can nominate them by contacting the Chisholm Fire Department. We'll have that information on our website. Now moving to Hibbing, where the area public library is offering curbside pickup for books. Monday through Thursday from noon to 4, residents will be able to pick up their book orders. To place an order, you simply have to call ahead or use the library's online checkout service. Once you receive your notification, you will be able to pick up your books. The library says you should plan to call ahead before arriving for your pickup. And finally, we'll finish off in Spooner, Wisconsin, where soldiers from the 829th Army National Guard are receiving a token of appreciation from a local organization. The We Care Project is distributing handmade quilts to the Spooner-based Guard unit, which recently returned home from a year-long deployment to the Middle East. In total, more than 200 quilts have been made. Pretty awesome. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, how a new business is navigating uncharted waters during the pandemic. Well, charting temperatures today, we topped out at 31 in the Twin Ports. Normal's 26, so 5 degrees warmer than normal. A trend will follow pretty much for the week ahead. Dry and mild. Frankly, no sign of snow, but we'll talk about theories coming up after our break. Season two is here, y'all. And yes, I am in an eye patch. How much more, Kelly, can it the get? The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS3. For the holidays, your friends at Sammy's Pizza have handcrafted a saucy deal. Buy $50 in Sammy's gift cards and get a $10 gift certificate free at participating Sammy's now until December 31st. What do you get when you add care from Essentia Health and coverage from UCARE? Essentia Care, now available for a more affordable price. Essentia Care's Medicare Advantage plans have premiums that start at $0 per month in select counties. You'll be able to see your Essentia Health provider at our 15 hospitals and 71 clinics. Plus, Essentia Care plans allow you the freedom to see any provider who accepts Medicare. Compare and shop plans at ucare.org slash Care. Is your child on track? As a caregiver, we love watching babies reach milestones, like that first smile, that first giggle, first steps and words. 
some children need a little extra help to learn and grow. If you've noticed that your child isn't reaching certain milestones, don't worry. Free help is available for children ages birth to five. Whether your child is at home, in daycare, or in preschool, the Help Me Grow referral system connects you to the early intervention program in your area. Visit HelpMeGrowMN.org or your local school district to make sure your child is on track. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. For the holidays, your friends at Sammy's Pizza have handcrafted a saucy deal. Buy $50 in Sammy's gift cards and get a $10 gift certificate free at participating Sammy's now until December 31st. It's starting to get cold outside. Northwest Outlet is the home of Carhartt Superior. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's check in with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt this morning. And the below average trend Thanks does so much for joining us. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. on CBS3. CBS3 weather is brought to you by Continental Ski and Bike. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, today's weather picture comes from Jeff Anderson, a fellow Ely native, former Duluth City Councilor, now a restaurateur, doing that sort of thing, keeping folks fed as best he can despite the pandemic. But today he got his camera fired up and took a shot of the sky, which pretty much explains our situation a splitting of the difference. We've got higher pressures in control, generally speaking, but the highs are helping to create narrow troughs of lower pressure as borders between themselves. And so we've got a little blue sky today and a little bit of cloud activity. And that's the way it's probably going to stay for the week ahead. And those clouds don't have any leftover moisture to drop any precip. So it's going to be mild and dry for probably another week. Here's what's happening at the airport in Duluth. Right now it's 26 degrees. Relative humidity 78% with an east-southeast wind now only going 3 miles per hour. Pretty gusty last night, now 3 miles per hour. Later on this evening come becoming dead calm for everybody in the region. Air pressure, yeah, that's still on the higher side at 30.11 inches of mercury. The latest in a long line of lows is with us indeed. Temperature-wise, we're looking at 27 to 28 in the Upper Peninsula and in northern Wisconsin it's going from 28 over towards Bayfield, Red Cliff and La Pointe to 30 degrees in Superior. Not much of a range in between. The range is a little bit wider in Minnesota where in Cloquet we have 27 right now, mid-20s up the North Shore, 30 for East Central Minnesota. Iron Range numbers are in the mid to upper 20s in the borderland communities teetering right on the edge there between the 20s and the teens and maybe we will dip into the teens for a few towns tonight but in general lower 20s for the rest of the region which is warmer than normal and like I mentioned warmer than normal conditions by a few degrees with us for the next week now today we had some clouds here and there and a little bit of sun as well and whatever clouds we have right now are not thick enough to really show up on the Doppler so you can't see the clouds, you can't see any precip snow fans, we're going to stay dry and mild like I mentioned for the week ahead with these little troughs of lower pressure getting pushed up in between the centers of high pressure so the mixture of cloud and the mixture of sun continuing probably till next Friday. Maybe by next Friday there'll be a low pressure system offshore of Canada that might bring us a vague chance of flurries. Yeah, that's how desperate we're getting here to get any seasonal snow. We're really pinning our hopes almost eight days out and hoping for the best. Well, if you like temperatures in the teens up north in Minnesota, we can go anywhere from 13 in Hibbing to 23 by the lake. Calm wind around the region with a mostly cloudy sky in Wisconsin, Michigan. Low temps from 17 to 22. Our daytime highs in Wisconsin and Michigan tomorrow should run about 30 to 35 with a partly sunny sky. It'll be partly sunny in Minnesota as well with a range of high temps there. Oh, I'm thinking in general about 29 to 33. That looks like a typo there for the North Shore communities up in Cook County. Should be warmer than that. We'll get it fixed by 6 o'clock. Looking at the seven-day forecast, well, we're looking at the high temps again in the 30s, overnight lows in the 20s, and not a hint of snow, at least not yet. It's hard to believe uh, the lack of snow that we have at this time of December. You know, it does happen once in a while. Was it around 2010 where we just barely got enough snow to call it a white Christmas? Okay. 
And so if you have some now, hold on to it. Yeah, <laughs> don't let it go. And hopefully by uh, the holidays here, we do get enough to claim the title. Yeah, I sure hope so. Thanks, mm -hmm. Dave. With the pandemic ongoing, a lot of small businesses have been closing, but now a new one is coming to Duluth Canal Park. The Lake End Company shop opened its doors for the first time today. The pop-up shop is a collaboration between flagship apparel and Lake Company, which runs several magazines. The store will be a way to showcase products featured in their publications. Owners say it is a challenging time to open this pop-up location, but they're still excited about the prospects. It's kind of a whole different game on sales and traffic, um, making sure that we're creating a safe environment for our shoppers. Um, so it's definitely been challenging, but we're really excited to be here and we want to be able to support people in a lot of different ways. The Lake Company also has a retail location in Grand Rapids. The pop-up spot in Duluth will be open through March. For more information and a list of their hours, you can head to our website. That familiar sound has been ringing throughout the Northland for a few weeks now, but the Salvation Army says they still have a long ways to go to reach this year's Red Kettle donation goal. So far in the Duluth area, they've collected about $63,000. Their goal is $215,000. Volunteers will be out ringing through Christmas Eve. There are still about a thousand volunteer shifts that need to be filled. We have a link where you can sign up on our website. A big donation haul arrived at Duluth's Salvation Army today. Through its Truckers for Tots program, Mid-State Truck Service donated 50 bags full of toys for kids in need. The company has been doing this for 12 years now in other communities they serve, but this is the first time they've donated to Duluth's Salvation Army. Looking ahead, Monday, December 7th, will mark the 79th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Marine Corps veteran Bob Woods will host an outdoor memorial ceremony on Monday at 11 a.m. at the harbor behind the deck. Tribute will be paid to George Vandersloos, a 104-year-old attack survivor from Chaska, who now lives in a veteran's home in California. Vandersloos also served on the same ship as Hoyt Lake's Pearl Harbor survivor Arlie Burke, who passed away earlier this year at the age of 99. All are welcome to attend while following proper social distancing and mask policies. Still to come, two promising vaccines are set for review by the FDA. We have a breakdown of what you need to know ahead of distribution. Spread holiday cheer and save more than ever at Arrowhead Supply. Right now, give $50 or more to charity and get $400 off stressless Mayfair recliners in all Paloma leather colors and $300 off most other stressless recliners. Plus, save hundreds more with $200 off every sofa seat you buy. Tis the season to give a little and save big on stressless furniture. Shop Arrowhead Supply in Duluth and Virginia. Coming up tonight at 6, millions of dollars set aside for Minnesota homeowners is going unused. How you can take advantage of the COVID relief money. And temperatures were warmer than normal again today. I'll talk about how long that trend will last at 6 o'clock. At a time like this, tensions run real high. Well, then we're going to have to improvise. I was thinking the same thing. You got to strike while the iron is hot. Time to fly. Nice landing. Huh. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Right. Buckle up. Can we get back to work, please? Oh, that's the plan. Smashing. Smashing. Let's watch together tonight on CBS. Hi, I'm Matt Hunter, president of your local United Way. Head of the Lakes United Way fights for the basic needs, education, financial stability, and health of every person in every community that we serve. We fund more than 70 local nonprofit programs in our region. Now more than ever, our communities need your support. Invest in your community. Give where you live. Join us and live united. Head of the Lakes United Way. Give, advocate, volunteer. HLUnitedWay.org slash donate. Every second of every day, it happens. Something big, something worth talking about. News happens, and you can't wait for it. You need to be constantly digging, asking, hunting, wanting more. More truth, more real answers, more who, what, where, when, and why. And it's about you. It's about now. It's about wherever, whenever. At Live Local CBS 3, it's about the news. Your neighborhood news. Heart attacks and strokes happen. 
even in the midst of COVID-19. And at least one will occur while you're watching this. Heart attacks and strokes are medical emergencies. If you experience symptoms of a heart attack or stroke, do not delay seeking care. Call 911 immediately. Hospitals are prepared and can safely treat you. Visit cdc.gov slash coronavirus to learn more. The historic gateway to Duluth, the St. Louis County Depot, is now the heart and soul of arts, culture, and history in our region. And now more than ever, we need the joy found through the arts, the graceful beauty of dance, drama, and excitement, the works of artists and artisans, our long and proud history preserved, and music to inspire. The Depot United campaign raises funds for all the organizations at the Depot. We need your support now more than ever. Donate through the mail or go online. Arts, culture, and history need you. When severe weather hits, tune to CBS3 for up-to-date coverage morning and night. In the coming weeks, two coronavirus vaccines will go before the FDA for emergency use authorization review. Many public health experts say widespread vaccination plays a critical role in ending this pandemic. Laura Podesta has more on what you need to know about the vaccines. Several coronavirus vaccines are in development, but the two ready for approval are from Pfizer and from Moderna. While the science is unprecedented and quicker than ever, the clinical trials are as rigorous and as detailed as they were for measles and polio and diphtheria. Both vaccines are a new type called mRNA. They contain genetic information which instructs cells to produce harmless coronavirus proteins to trigger an immune response. Dr. Ruth Karen is with the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. 94, 95% efficacy against any COVID disease and 100% efficacy against severe disease. Both trials enrolled tens of thousands of people. Both makers have reported the vaccines were well tolerated. Dr. Barry Bloom is with the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. He says he understands the public questioning the vaccines and that's good to do. But with testing on such a large group, the evidence supports vaccination. You have no serious side effects, at least during the period of the trial and you have 95 four percent protection against the disease that's killing people filling up hospitals paralyzing the healthcare system in this country think seriously about the risks and the benefits there are some unknowns like whether the vaccines can prevent transmission it's not time to throw away your mask or start congregating again because it could be that these vaccines protect you, protect your neighbor by preventing spread from one person to another, but we don't know that yet. The other big unknown, how long will protection last? Both vaccines require two doses to achieve protection. Moderna's two doses are given a month apart and Pfizer's are given three weeks apart. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, COVID-19 is now the leading cause of death in the U.S., and there's a shocking new prediction of how many more could die by spring. This is the CDC reverses course and urges Americans to wear masks at all times. Plus, another stimulus check before Christmas, what we're learning about a possible coronavirus relief bill. And high-tech Santa, we go on the road with jolly old St. Nick and how he's still spreading joy in the age of coronavirus. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. At Bender's Shoes, we know that comfort starts from the ground up. We carry some of the best brands available, and our selection of boots and booties has never been better. Stop in to Bender's Shoes, where comfort is always in style. Located in Grand Rapids, Hibbing, and Duluth. Get out and experience the great outdoors this winter with gear from your friends at Continental Ski and Bike. Continental has Alpine, Nordic, and fat biking gear for the whole family. Looking to tune your current gear? Let Continental technicians tune up your skis for your next adventure. Complying with national guidelines is made easy with the CETA's commercial touchless forehead thermometer. The Instant Read LCD digital display yields an accurate body temperature reading from 2 to 4 inches within half a second. 
From schools, offices, shops, and all other public places, keep yourself safe and compliant with a hands-free thermometer that's easy to install and easier to use. Visit www.seethisonline.com. That is C-E-T-U-S online.com. Your hands are cold, your feet are cold, you are freezing. Mother Nature is ready to bring you winter. Are you ready? Northwest Outlet is. It's the Northland's winter family clothing headquarters for men, women, and children. Northwest Outlet's massive inventory of the North Face, Columbia, and Carhartt with all the latest styles, colors, and sizes from six months to 5X is in. Long underwear, hats, gloves, mitts, snowsuits, pants, jackets, smart wool, and darn tough socks. And winter boots for men, women, and kids are in all sizes. Northwest Outlet, your family's winter headquarters. Merry Christmas from Northwest Outlet. You work hard for your money and deserve to see it go the extra mile. Join us Wednesday mornings and hear from local experts on tips to better manage your finances in Eye on Money on Live Local CBS 3. Brought to you by MPPL Financial. For coverage that matters most to you, tune to CBS 3. Men's Wardrobe by Mainstream Fashions for Men. The annual gift giver sale is going on now through December 31st. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Friday evening. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and we'll see what's coming up tonight at 6. According to the Chief Operating Officer at the Superior Rehabilitation Center, 88 residents have tested positive for COVID-19 in the last month. 14 of them died of coronavirus-related complications. 61 have recovered. And tonight at 6, visiting loved ones in the hospital or healthcare facilities has been hard due to the pandemic. Two Duluth sisters have gotten creative in order to spend time with their mom. We'll tell you how an ice fishing house is allowing their family to have daily visits. That's your news at 5. We'll see you at 6.